this is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back after another fight card over in the UK, <laughs> another spectacular one. Um, we're going to get into all of that, well, most of the Jax Kelly, but we'll touch on everything that happened. I'm going to make it quick, 8 to 10 minutes of quick hits. We come at you twice a day, twice a day. Uh, we'll be back later tonight to go over everything that happens in the world of boxing tonight, um, with the Pachel fight, with the Broner fight, and, and, and all that. Uh, but let's get started. Um with the Josh Kelly versus David Avenician fight, uh, which was a fantastic little card in the UK. Uh, first, like and subscribe. Please share it all forms of social media. Again, Quick Hitch comes at you twice a day. Twice a day, every day, but only once on Sunday. Um, with the great latest news uh, in the boxing world. Uh, if you, so if you want to be kept up to date, if you want that kind of content where you're constantly updated with quick short shows just to keep you afloat on the boxing world, please like and subscribe at 3D Boxing Blog and 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, please share and smash that bell icon uh, so you get new content every time we release it. Um, so Josh Kelly versus David Avenician uh, in, in an upset. Avenician uh, stops him. Uh, scores a spectacular knockout. Um, I <laughs> I just tweeted both this. Um, I think Kelly has won every round, but he's certainly not in control. Now, I wasn't expecting Evan Houston to score the knockout that quickly by any means. Um, but I thought Josh Kelly had won every round on my card. Um, I'm looking at it right now. I can't get the card. I'm interested to see. Say, let me let guys know if you have them released, uh, but because I'm not seeing them, and I know, and I, I'm interested in seeing how the judges had it. Um, because I gave Josh Kelly every single round, and there were a couple you could argue having used to one, but Kelly came out fast, he started real quick, he was on his jab, he was moving, he was doing a lot of things really, really well. Um, his movement, his jab, you know, his lateral movement, he looked good. He looked sharp. He was landing in the jab, but he never really established himself. And, and this is a problem. Um, you know, he can outbox and he can win rounds, but he can also lose rounds, right? And, and I want to get into that, right? Because all he does is flick a jab and he, he throws a right hand, but he leaves himself open to kind of get hit. And when all you're kind of doing is, is landing these pitta patta shots, and then you get hit with one shot, you could lose that round. It, it depends on what the judges are looking at. Because he never sits down. He never he never sits down on his punches. I think he did it once in this fight, uh, about the fifth round or so. And he fired off a, you know, a one-two uh, and, and stood his ground. But otherwise, he's just off the back flip, moving, moving, circling, circling. And he's never sits still. He never sits down on his punches. So I'm, I'm not saying... He's got to work on that. You know, I, I don't know what the plan is for him. This is a major setback because he's supposed to beat Avin Yusian. Avin Yusian lost to Peterson. He was stopped by the uh, meme machine. This is a fight you're supposed to win if you want to take that next step up. So he's stepped up twice. He's got to draw with Ray Robinson, which he's supposed to win. Ray Robinson is a decent fighter, but if you want to be in that elite group, you got to beat him. And then David Avin Yusian beat Shane Mosley when Shane Mosley was 100 years old with one arm. That's what he's known for. Other than that, he's lost. These are fights you got to win. And Avenician, to his credit, I said lost every single round. But you can see Josh Kelly slowing down, breaking down, and it was a matter of time. Now, I didn't know it was going to happen as quickly. But as soon as Avenician got in front of him and was able to track him down, it was over. And that's what we saw today. So, like, I'm not saying Avenician, Avenician can't beat Trump Porter. He can't beat Virgil Ortiz. Although, let, let him fight Virgil Ortiz next. Right? He just beat Josh Kelly. Let him fight Virgil Ortiz um, or, or Rashidi Ellis, something like that. But I, I, I don't – Boots would destroy him. Virgil would destroy him. Ellis would destroy him. He's not that good. I'm saying he gets stopped by all those guys. Um, And he just stopped Josh Kelly. And, and, and the fight where I thought Kelly had won every round. But he never made him pay. He never slowed him down. He was just landing shots. 
right? He was just landing shots, winning rounds, taking points, hoping to get it to go the distance. And that's not going to get it done. It's not going to get it done. You're going to have to either hurt your guy and stop him from just walking in the front door, or you're going to have to stop him. You got to do one of the other. Right? I talk about Caleb Plant, right? Like Caleb Plant doesn't have overall power, but he's got enough power to make you stop, right? And just stop you from walking straight in on him. You know, that was, look, Josh Kelly undeniably has skills. But you got to sit down and establish your power. Not that you have to be a power punch. Not that you have to sit there and, and trade. But you have to be able to sit down in the mid-range and stop the person from moving forward. If you can't, this is going to happen. He doesn't win anything of consequence. I, I mean, he was landing shots. He was landing, but nothing of consequence. So as soon as the other person starts to break you down and you can't keep moving because he starts to wear you down, you're a sitting duck. And that's exactly what happened. Now, what's next year after you see this talking about a world title shot? He can't be any of those guys. He's not that good. I don't even think he's a top 20 guy, which tells you all you need to know about where Josh Kelly is. Josh Kelly needs to get out of that camp. He needs to go find a trainer who can teach him how to sit down on his punches. Because until that, he's going to win rounds and lose fights. Um, It's like Luke Campbell, but worse, right? Like Luke Campbell can win rounds. But I mean, Luke Campbell can sit down and, and punch. Not that he's a knockout artist. Of course he's not. But, I mean, all it is is pitter-patter. Uh, on the undercard, the undercard was, was, was really, really good as well. Uh, Jordan Gill got a win in a competitive fight. Uh, Robbie Davis lost uh, to a guy named Gabriel Venezuela in a, in a really good fight, fun fight. Um, and then in the co-main, two undefeated welterweights, Florian Marcoux, looked really spectacular, really skilled. He got dropped. Uh, in the sixth, and then came back to score a knockout in the eighth over Ryland Charlton. A really fun fight in two welterweights I'd like to see again. You know, two welterweights I'd really like to see a fight again. That was a good competitive scrap. Um, but it was a really entertaining day in the UK, a really entertaining matchroom card. Um, Wembley Arena, I guess this was that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, were you entertained by the card? What do you think of Kelly and Avignesian? Um, uh, you guys like the card as much as I did, basically. Um, again, quick hits comes out you twice a day. Uh, just real quick content. We'll be back later tonight to break down the latest news that happens tonight. Uh, but let me know what y'all think. Um, follow me all on social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog. Uh, it is February 20th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still on the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. From, te- from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.